Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to calibrate the steering angle sensor or also known as SAS on a Hyundai. After a wheel alignment or if you install a new sensor you will need to calibrate. Otherwise you have the traction light on when you turn the steering wheel or when you start moving. Okay, let me show you. This one is a Sonata 2007 model but it's the same for most Hyundais. Okay, see right here, when you turn all the way to the left, the traction control light comes off, comes on as you can see it says ESC off. And this is because of the steering angle sensor, it's not calibrated because we had to do an alignment. Okay, stay with us to see how we're going to fix that now. Okay guys, today we're using Maxi C's. This one is made by Autel, pretty good stuff. We have, we will be uploading a lot of videos on our channel how to use that diagnostic tool. That's the, one of the most powerful ones, especially if you get the one with the programming device. So right now, what you need to do, you just need to connect. Okay, your programming device, like that. You have to have the light on right there and BT for Bluetooth. And it's going to connect to Maxi Sys now and you can see the green light right here. And now we need to go to VIN number so we do auto detect what kind of car we have. You can manually do that but in our case it's pretty simple. You just click the button, it reads the VIN code, the VIN number, the vehicle identification number. And now it asks you if this is the correct one. Okay. And we proceed to this one is the USA configuration. And it's going to tell us 2006 model when it's made, so nada. 3.3 we confirm and now we go to diagnostics okay right here and now you need to go to control unit and you need to go to ABS ESC right here and after that it's connecting to the module we need to go to special functions and it's a steering angle sensor calibration so we need to click this one and it gives you the instruction we need to make sure that the Tires are straight, okay, the steering wheel is straight, arrange the steering wheel at the center position, ignition key on and engine stop, press reset. So now we need to click reset, are you sure? We say okay. And now it's doing the procedure. It's going to take a little bit of time but this thing is super fast compared to other diagnostic softwares. Now we need to turn the ignition off for 10 seconds, so now we have to wait 10 seconds, 9, 10, you turn the ignition back on, ok, like that, then you click ok, and after you click ok, the system is still working on it, and you are ready to go, and now you can go to escape, read codes, and no fault codes detected. And now we can just go ahead, start the vehicle. And as you can see, there is no light at all. We are going to turn all the way to the left, to the right. And the ESC light doesn't come on at all. If you turn it off with the button, it should work, okay, right there. And that's the whole procedure, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We will be uploading many videos with the Autel. And we upload a new video almost every day.